Okay, let's learn how to injog a card as a method of controlling your chosen card during a shuffle. Because what you have to do is not only cut the deck sometimes, but you're going to have to shuffle it and yet maintain control of that person's selected card. Okay, so here's what that looks like. Let's say you've got a card on top of the deck. You've got the Ace of Diamonds right here. You're going to take the cards, shuffle, 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 and guess what? We've got the Ace of Diamonds right there. How did we do that? We did it like this, and really learn this one well. Just practice, 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 and you will get it. All you do is this. You know how to do an overhand shuffle, right? You're going here, here, dropping little packets like so. You've got the cards held like so in the left hand. Here's a different angle. Drop, 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 drop. Okay? Now, what you do is you take half the deck from here. You do what's called an in-jog. You jog it over about three quarters of an inch. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with. Then you just shuffle off on top of that. Anything, anywhere. All over the place, all over the place, all over the place, all over the place, making it look a little bit sloppy, okay? Now, here's what you're faced with if you look from a back view. You've got your jogged card right on top of the selected card. What you're going to do is get a break. How do you get a break? You push with the thumb just a little bit of upward pressure as you close all of these cards on top getting ready for the next shuffle. Did you see that? The cards naturally, when I pushed up a little bit, went into a, a natural break. You shuffle to the break and throw on top. And guess what? You have your selected card again. Let's go over that one more time. From the shuffle, in jog a little bit. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Pick up like so. Shuffle off the rest of the, uh, that are on top and drop on top. You're left with your selected card right there. That's the first way. The second way is when you spread the cards like so for someone to replace their card, you want to tell them where to put the card back in. You don't want them just sticking their card anywhere. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to get your in-jog ahead of time like this by simply in-jogging the the top card of this packet. You ask them to put back their card. Let's say they put back the six of diamonds, which is right here. Then you close this spread on top of that six of diamonds. You've got your jog card. I'm going to come over here, and once again, it's just a matter of pushing up, shuffling off, and you've got their card on top. You can then follow for finality with one of your swing cuts to finish the deal. And again, you've got their card. That's a good location. Remember that.